When you look into the cockpit of an ATR-42 or 72, you might notice something peculiar. One of the power levers is wider than the other. Why? Hi, my name is Manga Nordal. I'm an airline captain and instructor on ATR aircraft. In this video, I will explain why the left-hand power lever is wider than the right-hand power lever. If you ask a pilot about this, you will get one of two answers. The first answer is that the left power lever is larger because it is the critical engine. If you are not familiar with multi-engine propeller airplanes, you might not know about the term critical engine. The critical engine is the engine that, in the event of a failure, will most adversely affect the performance or handling abilities of an aircraft. If both propellers are turning clockwise when viewed from behind, then the left engine is the critical engine. The reason is that when the aircraft is flying at a low speed, which means high angle of attack, the propeller blades moving down will meet the air with a higher angle of attack than the propeller moving up. This means the downgoing propeller blade produces more thrust than the propeller blade moving up. The result is that the propeller's center of thrust is offset to the right. This is called P-factor and is a known phenomenon for all pilots. When you fly a light aircraft like the Cessna 172 or the Piper Cherokee, the aircraft tends to yaw to the left at high power and low speed, for example during climb after takeoff. And this is corrected by applying some right rudder. Twin engine airplanes have the same issue. Therefore, if the left engine fails, the thrust vector from the right-hand propeller will be to the right of the propeller axis. If the left engine fails just after V1 take off decision speed, you must apply maximum rudder to go straight. When the right-hand engine fails, the thrust vector is closer to the center of the airplane and the yawing moment is less, making it more easy to maintain directional control. Some aircraft have counter-rotating propellers. When viewed from behind, the left-hand propeller turns clockwise, while the right-hand propeller turns counterclockwise. And that means there is no critical engine. But this makes the airplane more expensive, as it will need engines with different gearboxes. On ATA aircraft, the both propellers turn clockwise. And therefore, it is the left engine that is the critical one. But this does not explain why the left power lever is larger than the other. To find the answer, we must go back in time to Italy. ATR was founded in 1981 by the French aviation manufacturer Aerospatiale, today's Airbus, and the Italian aviation manufacturer Air Italia, today's Leonardo. The fuselage is produced in Italy, and the remaining parts, wings, tail, etc., are produced in France. The final assembly takes place in Toulouse, where ATR has the head office. When Air Italia started to design the ATR, they decided to use parts from other aircraft in their inventory. And specifically, they used parts from the G222 transport aircraft. Therefore, they saw no need to reinvent power levers and condition levers, for example. But there was a problem. The G222 has a wide fuselage, and the pedestal is so wide that each pilot has a set of power levers. But the ATR is narrow, and it was discovered that there was not enough space for the power levers. 
they cannot be too close to the condition levers because you should be able to move the condition levers without interfering with the power levers and vice versa. The solution was simple. Cut off a part of the right hand power lever. When viewed from behind, you can clearly see that the right part of the power lever has been cut off. Problem solved. And that's all for this time. Thank you for watching, have a wonderful day and happy learning.